So let's get right into this one. If you want to add a countdown timer to your timeline to your project in DaVinci Resolve, here's exactly how you're going to do that. First of all, come over here, make sure your effects are open. Go to titles here and grab a text plus title. I'm going to drag that onto the timeline. I'm just going to make this a little longer for right now. And the first thing you're going to do is come to this text box over here. You're going to right click and then you're going to come down to time code. That is going to give you the time code for this text box and it's just gonna start counting. That's what that's gonna do. What you're gonna wanna do here is you're going to want to make sure that right now at this step, you start styling your text to however you want it. So something I've been enjoying a lot lately for some reason is the Verdana fault, 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 the Verdana font, Verdana font. I don't know. And then if you need kind of, it looks like I might hear shadows and all that type of stuff. This is where you do that. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave it there for right now. So the other thing most people are going to want to do at this point is you're going to want to get rid of this guy over here and this guy over here. Okay. You don't really need the hours and you don't really need the frames in most situations. If you do need them, keep them. That's fine by me. But in order to get rid of them, what you can come down is to this right on thing, whatever you want to call it, slider. And from the left side, just pull it in until that all goes away and on the right side pull that in until that all goes away and now you just have this thing that's counting seconds basically so if you needed a stopwatch boom you're basically done but we don't want a stopwatch we want it to count backwards because we're timing ourselves so here's what we're going to do in order to make that happen we're going to make this as long as we want it to be so for the sake of right now let's just say we want it to be 30 seconds, I guess. So I'm just going to drag this out until it's roughly, I don't know, what's this at? That's at 40. So if I go to 30 seconds, I'll actually go to 31 just to give myself a little bit of a cushion. Okay. So I want to make it exactly that long. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, right click on it. And then I'm going to make this a new compound clip. You can name it whatever you want. I'll name it timer because why not? And then basically all you're doing at this point is just, this is where you can position it so I can bring it down and over a little bit like this so that you could actually see it and as you can see it's still pointing up until it gets to well maybe it doesn't get to 30 no it gets to 30 it gets to 30 right there but all you're going to do is you're going to reverse this clip so I would just right click on it I would go to do, 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 speed wherever it is my eyes don't work correctly reverse the speed don't actually change the speed and then change and then what's that going to do that's going to make it start at 31 so i would just go to 30 drag this in a little bit and there you have it you have got a timer counting down if this tutorial was helpful to you please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you feel like it and i'll be back soon with another one